Welcome to the Prophetic Voice Network with Olayin Karogun, a servant of the Most High God, sent with the apostolic and prophetic mandate to raise a new prophetic generation, to unfold a new dimension in the prophetic and the apostolic, to raise the end time army of God, to rebuild the old ways and declare the prophetic stand for the nation. It's time to move you into new dimensions of God's glory and power through deep insights in God's word. Surely you will be blessed. Speak to every sickness, call out every life, prophesy. Father, we thank you once again. Bride is called the Hishede for your word is truth. Thank you for feeding us. Thank you. For loving us thank you for accepting us in the beloved we give you glory hallelujah the people of god i want to speak to us on a date with god you know i've heard people say i have a date with somebody they go to a restaurant they talk whatever they call it dates a date is not an act for all promiscuity is an act to get him to know somebody and most of the time there's a meeting place there is a meeting place hero calibre hands could do say a date with god i wanted to know that in the dispensation of god's doing uh, god just look for a man he said look for a man to stand at the gap god always use a man as a prototype for everyone he used Noah as a prototype for a new generation after the flood. He used uh, Moses. They were baptized in Moses. A copper ranaskele to go city. Adam was a prototype of the fallen man. The last Adam was a prototype of the risen man, a new man, which is in Christ, after the pattern of Christ. So when God finds a person, he finds a generation, a gene to the nation, a gene for the nation, a gene for the nation, who shall declare his generation. So it is the declaration of the nation. When God finds a man, he declares a generation out of it. Now, listen to me. God was in the date. He found Moses and he went on a date with him. There are three dimensions of God, the past, the present, and the future. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So nothing change about him. There's nothing that God will bring in the past that he will know. Whatever may God to reveal the past, we make him to reveal the present and we make him to reveal the future. So God is the same. He said, I'm the Lord that change not. That's why his sons of Jacob are not consumed. Father, we want to thank you, Lord. So when he found Moses, Moses uh, said, I want to see your face. God said, it's not my face now. That's not where it start from. It's an adulterous man, an adulterous woman who meets a woman and the first thing you want to see is to see the face is what is to have a sex with the person is to stay with the person yeah, it, they don't really care who that person is whether the person whether the person just slept with somebody yesterday they don't really care they don't want to know that person they don't want to get to know that person uh, they just want to have a pleasure uh, from that person uh, the pleasure is what they are interested in, is not knowing the person. Whereas a date is supposed to be knowing the person. So God told Moses that it's not about my faith. You need to know me. You need to know my past. He said, this is life eternal. This is a life that is eternal. This is life that has been coming before you were even coming into this, when you came into existence, that you may know me. So, Brahiskataya. And is and the Christ that he has sent to know him. And so God told Moses, You can't see my face now. I'll show you my past. I'll show you my back, the back past. So let's talk about our past. And then you remember Moses wrote some things about the beginning, the book of Moses, Genesis and then Exodus. The beginning. So uh, he wrote about the beginning. In the beginning, God. So God showed him his past. So he put him in the cliff of the rock. So they met at the cliff of the rock. Just like people meet at the restaurant for a date. So they met at the cliff of the rock. And that rock was Christ. And you know that was the same rock that got Moses to be offended. He struck that rock. He struck, sorry. He struck that rock. And that rock was Jesus, was Christ. That's what the Bible says. So God appeared to him. And he saw his past. He saw his past. 
Ero Kalim Rahandus Kede Sali Hakasha. So uh, God saw he God showed him his past. So the first thing the person will show the person whom you want to know is the past. So Moses is similar to the person who saw the past and he revealed unto us. So we all have seen the past of God. The Bible says that those that do not believe that there's no problem, that the invisible things of the God of the creation are evident, that men are without excuse. So God has revealed all things and nobody have excuse not to receive God because the past is already obvious, it's already spoken out and it's written in Genesis. And that creation is allowed to know God. Uh, so David came to us, and when you see God's past, and then when you satisfy with who he is, his nature, his integrity, and everything, you don't have no reason not to believe him. And so David brought to us and said, Kiss the son unless he be angry with you. And so when you can't see somebody's past and they run away. You can't see somebody's past. Whatever makes somebody to open up to you, whatever makes somebody to, to do all things, to open all things to you, and then they say it's a powerful thing. So past is also powerful. It is when people are comfortable with who they want to marry, it's when they reveal all the past. Anybody that always run away from the past, it means that they are not ready to settle down. And they say, yeah, just meet an alert. And I'll say, Look, you don't need to know me. I just come here, how much you want to pay me? And they leave. They don't reveal anything. They don't reveal their address, house address. They don't do anything. When you see believers that always deal with God and live with God that way, God just give me my miracle. I don't need to know you. I don't want to know you. I don't want to talk to you i don't want to talk to me about me about what i'm passing through i don't want to talk to you about my my struggle my weaknesses and the sins i'm committing i just want to to give me what i want and that's all mark them it's an adulterous generation that's an emblem of an adulterous generation and then so moses miss david came to us and began to say kiss the son unless he be angry with you don't take god's part don't look into god's past those that have tasted of the gift of the kingdom to come those that have seen all those things i would say if they shall turn away you don't turn again the king of god you don't slay him again so rakeli that you don't wound him again you don't break his heart again and so when david came Kiss the son, let's be angry with you. So it says that we should embrace God, we should embrace Him, we should accept now that we know all about Him. He says, Seeing that man has become like us, he said, Let's touch this tree of life also. So when uh, your eyes is enlightened, those have been enlightened and have tasted of the power of the, the gift of the kingdom to come, he said, If they shall fall away, it's very difficult for them to be renewed again. It's impossible. So let's let's begin to look at this. So Kiss the son and let's be so kissing means that to embrace him, to take him when he reached God and saw me Isaac and they brought the wife, the servant of Abraham. The first thing he dismounted from the house and then said, Who is that one? He said from the he said it's the the son of my servant. Then she covered her face. So the first thing is not the face, is the is to know somebody, to know who. And we are the story had been told when the servant visited Rachel's family and now she covered her face. So the face is open. The Bible says all things are open and naked before him. We have to do and the bible says that we with an open face beholding the glory of god so the next level to that is begin to behold his glory as by the spirit of god the bible says we are beholding the the glory of god as a mirror it means that we begin to desire his world we begin to have intimacy with him in his world and begin to talk to us and begin to open himself to us through his world begin to see his face and then we are changed and then the last face was not true uh, uh, David. David was the middle man, he was a similar, he was true to Christ himself because he's the express image of the person and is the one that broke the wall of partition, is the one that merged humanity with divinity in his body, is the one that brings us into holy matrimonies with, with God, is the one that actually conducted the wedding with us and God, is the one that joined us in the same spirit with God, because he that is joined to the Lord is one spirit, and we have the spirit of God using our body as we are also using our body, we are not only the one that is using this body, the, our body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in us, who is in us, and the Bible says we are not of our way, but with a price. We are, our dowry has been paid with the blood of Jesus Christ. We are now being married to Jesus Christ, to the body of Jesus Christ. And the seal of it is the Holy Ghost, which is the guarantee of that which is to come. And that is the testament. That is the, that is the witness. That is the, that, is the, that is the seal that God has given to her. 
and that is that internal life and that life is in his son so we want to thank god for this so the revelation of this is that he begins on the past we have to say blessed whose transgression is covered so we have to reveal all things to god we have to be transparent before him we, are, we don't have to have gall in our mouth we don't have to 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 be to be deep there's no diplomacy in dealing with god we have to be sincere we have to come with open face before him father we just want to thank you when you are dealing with god in this manner you know that you are not just adulterous you are sincere lega lega spouse of god and that's how god wants to deal with us and you know from moses to david the patriarch and to jesus christ and he had spoken to us by prophets in the old day but he's now speaking to us by his son whom he has appointed here of all things i'm telling you that is a place of comfort that is the place and someday the prototype is going to be repeated in heaven the marriage of this lamb of the supper a supper of the lamb and we're going to eat together because we have been joined to the lord we shall put off this body and we shall receive our glorified body our re-clothing will be given to us and we're going to be at that wedding that day where christ there's going to be celebrated the unification of the humanity with divinity and forever we will reign with him and that is the mystery of the church the head christ is the head and we are the body and it's the same mystery of us being married to christ i want to tell you that if you live by this rule you'll find out that god takes care of his bride god takes care of his bride nobody who truly joined to the lord who is one spirit with him that will lack anything because the tree of god is full of sap god bless you Jesus said, you will know the truth and the truth will make you free. Thank you for watching the Prophetic Voice Network on this channel. We do believe that you have been transformed and immensely blessed. To watch or listen to more of God's words, download the Prophetic Voice Network app on Google Play and Apple Store. Follow us on Facebook at Yinkarogun for prayers and counseling. Please visit www.propheticvoicenetwork.com or send a WhatsApp text to 081-726-81813 or 081-683-74151 Join us on this same channel same time next week. Until then, remember you are the story of success God told before you were born. God bless you.